Last episode, we talked about the first ingredient of blocking an intimate scene, levels of touch. Today, we're going to add to the toolkit and add distance. We use a different vocabulary when blocking intimate scenes. And once we have it and practice it, it becomes second nature. We can talk about it like it's cooking. We have ingredients that we can use in different ways to make different recipes. For example, a first kiss and a passionate kiss have the same ingredients, but tweaking our ingredients like levels of touch, we can create a whole different dynamic. A key ingredient in any blocking is opening and closing distance. And it's basically exactly what it sounds like. If you're opening distance, you're moving away. And if you're closing distance, you're moving towards. We use this in three different ways. One, to describe the distance between bodies or objects and the changes in that space. For example, if one actor is walking towards another, we would say actor one is closing distance between themselves and actor two. Two, to describe the distance between body parts, either an individual's own or two actors' body parts. For example, two actors can close distance between their lips or an individual actor could open distance between their knees. Three, to describe how the distance opens and closes. For example, if actor one pushes the other actor away, we would say that actor one opens a distance using their hands. Opening and closing movements can happen in isolation, or more commonly, multiple open and closing motions can be happening at the same time. What might this sound like in rehearsal? As you close distance between your lips, also close distance between your chest and pelvis. Actor one, can you close the distance between your chest and actor two's back? Can you close distance as they try to open distance? Things for directors to think about when they're blocking opening and closing distance. Who closes? Who opens? When do they open or close? How much distance do I want them to open or close? How quickly do they open or close? Next episode, I'm giving you another ingredient that's going to help you with that one. There is so much meaning you can give to a scene just by playing around with this element. If you'd like to practice, perhaps consider a scene. For example, a first kiss, a seduction, or leaving a loved one to move across the country. How could you use today's ingredient to tell these stories? Tune in next episode for our third major ingredient, feet. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. And until next time, remember, passion fades. Choreography is forever.